Hello, Amanda. It's me. Look, honey, I'm going to be a bit late. Remember those friends of mine from management college? <whistles> the ones I'm always talking about. Well, we're sort of having this reunion tonight, so... Oh, shit. I forgot all about that. Look, I only got the message after I left this morning. I'm not trying to avoid him. I'm dying to have dinner with your brother. Look, I haven't seen these guys in 12, maybe 13 years. Be reasonable, Amanda. I'm 100 miles away from home. I can't be back by 8. Hello? Amanda? I can't hear you. You're fading away. Hello? I'll call you back later. What, huh? You're blocking my way. Shama? Prithvi? Hi! Prith! Hi! Damn. How are you? Good! I don't believe it. You're looking terrific. You're looking terrific. <laughs> Thank God, you. God, while we were doing our MBA, you looked like the girl next door. Look at you now. You could be the CEO of a multinational. Well, Vice President of Asia Pacific, actually. Hong Kong posting. Ah, Shama, VP of a multinational. Girl next door becomes Joan Collins overnight. 13 years is not overnight, Prithvi. <sighs> Last I heard you were married to this guy in college and gonna have tons of babies and be a brood mother. What happened? It's a very long story. Hey, I was born listening. So, did you eventually get married? And divorced. And you? I guess you could say I'm doing okay. I'm um, so, still after the... Are you married? I guess you could call it that. What would you call it? Ah, uh, dress rehearsal for the real thing. But what are you doing these days with yourself? I sort of got drafted into my family business. Your father's business? But you swore you'd never get into that. Yeah, yeah, okay. So what happened? Hey, the old man had a stroke. I'm so sorry. It's okay, he's still alive. Uh, he's just not kicking. Paralyzed from the waist down. And what about your older brother, Piyush? He's turned into a sort of slave driver. But I thought... But why don't we take this conversation inside? Okay. Yeah? Thank you. Why are you planning to set up office over here? I can't live without this thing. I take it everywhere. Everywhere? Open. Someone must be here already. want to arrive. How are you, Pavan? Pavan, it's me, Prithvi. And Shama. I know who you are. Is something wrong? Yes. What is it? I'll tell you what's wrong. Was it you who called us together? I am right now a partner in a very well-reputed law firm in Toronto, Canada. I have a considerable reputation as a fine defense lawyer. 
an enviable reputation that has taken me some years to build. Hey, Pawan, but that's terrific. Let me finish. I'm an extremely busy professional. I charge by the hour. Right now, I'm in the middle of a major murder trial, the outcome of which may very well set a precedent in Canadian law. I am not. Repeat, I'm not in a position to drop all my commitments and fly all the way down to Bombay, India at a moment's notice. But you did. I am here because I honor my commitments. Thank you, Your Honor. Thirteen years ago, we made a promise that as soon as we received the message, we would come down to this guest house, no matter where we were or what we were doing. Last night, Canadian time, I received my message. And I'm here, less than 18 hours later. We're honored by your presence. We all had to drop what we were doing to be here, Pavan. Good. So in that case, you must be as eager as I am to return to your commitments. Hey, I left my entire sex life on hold. Pavan, we're meeting after 13 years. All the more reason that we come straight to the point, don't you think? Get it over with and go our separate ways? Hey, if you're so bugged about being pulled down from your throne, why wait? Leave right away. How, how nice to see you again, Prithvi. I'd forgotten how charming you were. That's me, Prince Charming. Still scudding around from woman to woman like a sex-crazed rabbit, I suppose. Somebody's got to do it. Yes. Pavan, this is Prithvi, remember? I remember. Prithvi. Hey, Pavaji, this is me, remember? <laughs> The guy who used to make us laugh when we were down and out. Don't you remember? The guy who always lent you money when you were broke. The guy who would always help you with your projects every time you were ill. And the one who put itching powder in my pants the day of my class presentation. The same one who called up LLH and said that GNP were offering me twice the salary they were offering. You remember that? Yes. I was just trying to get you a better deal. I also remember that you are a selfish, arrogant, spoiled son of a dishonest, filthy rich millionaire and that your only talents are fast cars and faster women. Now I'll ask you to please leave me alone until the others arrive. I just want to get this over and done with and get out of this damn place. Is that clear?
Well, at least the lights work. Akash! Shama? Hey! Remember me? Prithvi. Hi, Prithvi. You've got mud all over you. I was digging up the past. Hey, that's what we're here to do, right? Hi, Pavan. Hello, Akash. Varsha isn't here yet. Okay. Hey, I, I saw your last play, Burning Bridges. You wrote, directed, acted, sang. That was a tour de force. Akash put up a play. You mean you don't know? You haven't read the articles? The cover of Society? Gentlemen? Really? I read everything that's written about this guy. Advertising whiz kid, theater personality, singer, songwriter. Why, the last I heard he was writing a novel. I read that too. I always knew you would make it, Akash. I'm really happy for you. Well, don't be too happy. I've quit. Everything, theater, music, everything. And the first three chapters of my novel were shit. I'm sorry to hear that. But if everything was going so well, then what went wrong? Everything. Exactly what I needed. Lovely. Obviously, she doesn't mind catching pneumonia. This isn't cold-hearted Canada. This is hot-blooded India. She doesn't do a damn. She's such. Did you say something? I said she doesn't give a damn about the rain. She is the rain. Varsha. Well, perhaps now we can settle this matter quickly. You can leave any time, friend. Varsha! Hi, Prithvi. Still looking like the cover of GQ, huh? And you like the cover of Filmfare. Hi. Hi, babe. My flame of eternal hope. It's still living up to your name. <laughs> You're soaking wet. Why don't you get out of these clothes? I'm fine. I have something in the car. No, forget it. Pavan? You're late. As stiff and formal as ever. <laughs> Hi, Akash. Hi, Vasha. I've been reading about you. I've seen your films. <laughs> I've seen your plays, all of them. I read your father's last novel. It was brilliant. I heard you're writing a novel. Some do. Some try. Look, perhaps the rest of you have nothing better to do, but I for one do. So then why don't you just make like a pigeon and leave? I did not travel 10,000 miles to be insulted. So why did you come? To brag about your success? No, to keep a commitment. Pavan, Prithvi, let's not fight. What's the matter, Pavan? Can we get on with this, please? With what? This reunion, this farce, whatever you wish to call it. Pavan wants to know why we've all been called here today. 
Yes, so for starters, can we find out who called this meeting? Shama? I didn't send any message. Varsha? Not me. I plead innocent, Your Honor. No, it wasn't me. I thought it was one of you guys. I don't understand. Only the five of us knew this message. If one of us didn't send it, who did? And why?